Your puppy has three distinct times that it needs to urinate. Some of this info might seem obvious, but if you're struggling with this aspect of potty training, you need to hear this. The three P's are play pee, sleep pee, and pee pee. Let me explain what I mean. Play pee. If your puppy is playing or fixated, chewing a bone, and all of a sudden stops for what seems like no reason and starts to walk away, there is a good chance it might have to go to the bathroom. If you take away your puppy's bone or end the play session, the same is true. I typically use this human analogy to help put things in the context for my clients. Imagine you're fixated on a home renovation project around the house and are giving it your undivided attention. You'll tend to urinate less, but as soon as you're done giving that home improvement task your undivided attention, you realize you have to go to the bathroom. Now imagine a quiet weekend where you are loafing around your house and you probably urinate a lot more frequently. In this scenario, the amount of urine is the same. It just happens a lot more frequently with not as much urine being expelled in the relaxing weekend scenario. During the weekend home renovation scenario, times of urination are less frequent. They are typically timed around milestones of project completion, meals, or hardware store runs. So what does this mean for you and your puppy? This is just reason five million why you need to manage the crate, the leash, the chew bones, tug toys, fetch, walks, and training in a structured way every day. By doing what we have already discussed, you can take your puppy outside to urinate after being let out of the crate on a full bladder versus walking him up and down the street for half an hour hoping he pees, just have him pee as soon as you come back in your house. In this super frustrating scenario I just mentioned, put yourself in your puppy's shoes. Your puppy is inside your house 99% of its time. You want your puppy to relax and focus on going to the bathroom outside when it has a big wide world it can explore, finally. Then after half an hour of you guys pulling each other around on a leash and you pleading with your puppy to pee in this highly stimulating environment, it spends 1% of its time in, you go inside. After completing a highly stimulating exploring walk, your puppy can now relax its mind and with it, his body. And you know what happens next. At first, I want you to bring your puppy to the same spot on the leash more or less every time. This does two things. First, it desensitizes your puppy to that spot, which mitigates his mind from going to an exploring state. The second thing this does is it has your puppy associate that one particular spot with the place where it goes to the bathroom. This uses the outdoors and the power of habit to your advantage. This is a calculated way to get your puppy to pee outside versus throwing spaghetti against the wall hoping that it sticks. With choosing a spot for your puppy to go to the bathroom outside, I strongly suggest you have it be the closest, quietest spot possible. This will give you quick and easy access and will reduce your puppy from getting distracted where he should be taking care of business. Nothing is worse than seeing your puppy going into the squat position just to be interrupted by your neighbor using their remote to unlock their car door on their way to or from work. Eventually, things like that won't matter, but you have to remember that this is a big deal to your puppy who is still new to this world. So don't blame your neighbor for going to work or your puppy for being inherently curious and easily distractible. These are things we can count on. So just plan around it. Do your prep work and remember the three Ps. Here's some more awesome news. Your puppy will almost always go outside instantaneously because he's primed to pee. Hopefully you're starting to see that in almost everything we do, there's a priming period just before to increase the likelihood of success. The great thing about this prep work or priming, as I refer to it, is it typically helps develop your puppy on other fronts as well. This is how you are going to be an owner that is working smarter and not harder enjoying that super cute puppy of yours. Now let's talk about sleep pee. Dogs, just like humans, have to pee when they awake from rest. Think about it. If you take a quick power nap, it's the first thing you do when you wake up. If you're my wife, you check your Facebook. Just kidding. Obviously, when we wake up from a nap, we have to go relatively quickly. If not immediately, depending on how much water we had to consume just prior to laying down. As promised, this might seem obvious, but I guarantee you, you will have a light bulb moment when your puppy wakes up and you jump off the couch because we discussed this and you get closer to potty training glory. The third kind of pee your puppy can have is pee pee. 
Follow me here. PP, the champion puppy training system, is classified as when your puppy laps up a ton of water after either being slightly dehydrated or after some physically exhausting activity. On my way into work every morning, I drink a quart of water because I know with a growing business, I'll get busy and I won't make it a point to drink water throughout the day. I don't just have to urinate one time, I have to urinate three times, or if I had coffee, like a million times off of that one quart of water. If you're taking water up an hour or two early in advance of leaving for work or before your puppy's bedtime, the PP concept applies once your puppy has had a chance to rehydrate upon wake up or you getting home from work. Remember, your goal is to only restrict your puppy's water intake as minimally as possible. If you ever have concerns about your puppy's hydration level, err on the side of caution and offer him some water. It's better to have a puppy covered in urine than a $2,000 vet trip or even worse. Remember the three Ps not merely as a standalone concept, but as a practical knowledge that can be sandwiched nicely with the sprint, cool down, rest model of you and your puppy's thought out and controlled daily ups and downs.